Greetings gentlemen and ladies, Dev Dude here and in today's video we are going to be taking a look at a short film that I made with Kling, very short and uh, very uh, unfinished but kind of just like a, a bit of a showcase and then we'll take a look at some of the Kling version 1.6 videos that I've been generating and you guys can uh, can take a look at how far this latest version of Kling has come. In my opinion, it's doing a spectacular job. But let us let me show you a video which I have sequenced together using mid-journey for a consistent character reference and then tried to create sort of a coherent narrative. Of course, if this was to go on, we'd now go into a bit of a wolf chases, girl on horse scene, and so on and so forth, but I didn't get that quite that far. But I think it really shows uh, the power potential that is becoming cling. What I have specifically noticed, for example, a pack of wolves looks towards the camera and snarls. Uh, or, for example, a uh, woman and horse fall asleep peacefully together, breathing slowly. You'll note that there's slow breathing going on. Just add something to the scene, right? Campfire burns behind them. Sure enough, there it is. A gentle wind blows. You can see that in the hair. I love the attention to detail here with, with the movement of the horse's ears. Just very realistic. I didn't even ask for that. And the other thing that I found is that you can actually kind of tell the camera what to do. So, for example, uh, this one here is of a red dragon. Uh, the camera pans back to reveal the landscape below. Now, Kling didn't understand what a red dragon's body should look like, so it just made up a weird kite-looking thing. But I don't, you know, I don't blame Kling for that. Here's a different version of the same. Now we've got this red dragon here. Uh, the prompt is red dragon's eyes squint and fire and smoke billow from its nose and mouth behind him embers and smoke. So I mean, that's exactly what I asked for. Here we've got a nice little fire cat. Uh, fire cat blinks and stretches. I think it was a little confused on stretching this cat out because it stretched it kind of like a human. <laughs> so I mean, I mean, but may, hey, you know what? It's a fire cat. Maybe that's how a fire cat's meant to stretch. Uh, we've got uh, this one here, which is woman's attention is drawn to the bushes behind her as something catches her attention. She looks curiously for a moment and then concerned. Uh, and then we got the second variation of that. I think that second variation kind of got a little confused because it looked to the side and just kind of froze there and and whatever. But uh, still, here we've got one which is a woman looks up at the sky and smiles and feels the warm sun on her face. And pay attention to the smile. There it is. You can see that, the warm sun on her face. She touches her hair. Uh, and basically what I've noticed about Kling is that it seems to put into order the scene direction that you type. So for example, in this one, the woman looks up at the sky, right? smiles, looks up at the sky, smiles, feeling the warm sun on her face, touches her hair, that's the next thing, the wind blows gently, a soft mist in the background, right? So the sequence is correct. So you can kind of direct the scene based on the order at which you type out commands. Now that doesn't 100% work all of the time, as is the way with AI, but you know, it seems to work pretty decently well. 
So here we've got uh, woman on horse slows to a stop. The camera zooms closer to her face. Now this one didn't quite get the coherence that I wanted it to. And again, you've got to do a decent number of re-rollings, but for the most part, I feel like it's done quite a quite a good job. So we've done a bit of the. Oh yes, here we go. A woman uh, riding on horse leans forward and takes a horse hold of the horse's mane, which sure enough she does. Now it gets a little confused after that. Grabs the mane, doesn't know what to do with her hand, but um, still not not too bad. Uh, we've got uh, here. We've got a woman. Slowly move, uh, clouds slowly move in the sky. Now it seems to have trouble doing skies and backgrounds, but I guess that makes sense because usually these things don't move that quickly in like five seconds. So that would kind of be realistic you wanna, when you think about it. All right, so, oh, this one here. So what we've got here is in the rain, werewolf notices the camera, looks directly at it, its eyes glint, the werewolf snarls and then lunges at the camera the scene turns black and then here's the second variation of that now this was actually a continuing scene from this first one that i did here where we have a werewolf uh where sorry that's actually the wrong was that the wrong prompt no that's the right prompt here we go there's the one i meant there's the first one a tormented werewolf in the night it in the rain sits there breathing looking to be in pain right so we've got this sort of Tormented werewolf in the nice night sitting there breathing looks kind of miserable, right? And then what I did is I actually took the last frame and I put that as the beginning of another video and that became uh, the video that you saw here where we continued the next sequence, which is the werewolf notices uh, the camera, you know, snarls and then lunges towards the camera, scene turns black. So we've got some pretty cool stuff in that respect. Here we go. We can always, uh, it's always better when you can put a uh, beautiful woman on the back of a dire wolf and have her ride around the desert. That just makes the world a much, much happier place. Uh, now, one thing I did notice is that Kling didn't understand the dynamics of a wolf. So in some previous versions of this it kind of made the horse uh, made the wolf walk a little bit like a horse so you know there's certain things that it's trying to figure out because it normally you don't ride a wolf although clearly we're riding a wolf here and it looks pretty good uh this one here became slightly uncensored so i don't think i can show that one on youtube but we have a woman riding on a jaguar which is always just great woman riding on a dragon uh what do we got here okay uh we've got this one here which i thought was I think this one here came out pretty cool. Yes, robotic eyes blink and then head turns to look at the camera and then lips form a wry smile. This one actually made me smile when I saw this thing try to do a smile, like this robotic creature try to do a smile. Uh, I don't know, there's something that just brought a smile to my face. Uh, let's see, what else have we got here? We got, um, I think we got uh, just like some dancing here. The head kind of borked out there and did like this uh, exorcist sort of thing, but it happens. It definitely, you know, you definitely have to re-roll a few times. Just been doing some sort of like music video stuff here to go along with uh, some of, well, some of the music I've been working on. So, you know, I'm trying to get some cool kind of Burning Man stuff. Uh, beautiful. Like these are all images generated by uh, Mid Journey. <laughs> It's a bit of a funny smile, but man, these like, okay, so this is actually not even the professional mode. This is the standard mode of, uh, of Kling 1.6 and the starting image compared to the actual video, uh, frames used in the image, they stay so crispy. Like they say, stay, stay, stay really good. Uh, let's see what else we got here. Oh yeah. I thought this one had such energy to it. So we basically got the prompt of feeling the music. Eyes close, uh, eyes close slowly, bliss. Like, how perfect does that one look? Again, what I noticed about Kling is that if you give it a really clear, really crisp starting image, it will do a really good job with that image and create like a really uh, cohesive video based on that starting image. 
Uh, if you give it something that's a little muddled, it's going to give you muddled output, right? So if you give it muddled, it'll give you back muddled. Uh, oh yeah, this one, oh, this one I thought was so cool. So this started out as just the still image, right? This started out as just the still image that you see right here. I said, takes off sunglasses, right? And sure enough, it took off the sunglasses perfectly and it actually created the eyes on its own account, right? Like there was no information of, about how the eyes should look from mid journey or anything like that. It was just, it made up how she should look under the sunglasses. And uh, I thought it came out like really beautifully. Slightly different, slightly more cross-eyed variation there. That one was a little bit funny, but uh, let's see. What else can I show you guys? Um, I think we just got some more kind of water. This one here in particular, though, I just thought looks very photorealistic. Like it looked very photo, you know, just flawless and perfect to a level that you can hardly even believe it's real. But, you know, like the the detail and like the crispiness of the image and the hair movement and it just looks really really good um yeah like i say i've been working on some music video stuff this one loses a bit of coherence in the face as the hair uh blows but again it's it's simulating that hair physics right and if the hair is being blown by the wind as i said wind blows through hair and dress dust behind her exactly as i prompted right dust behind her wind blowing through dress, wind blowing through hair, it's got to adhere to the physics of the face in that it now, the wind, you know, it's now getting stuck to the face. Um, anyway, gentlemen and ladies, I hope you've enjoyed today's look at Kling 1.6. I consider it a big step up from Kling, even version 1.5, which was dropped not that long ago. 1.6, standard mode. I haven't even tried professional mode yet because, yet because I've been so impressed with simply standard mode and it costs half as much credit so uh anyway yeah see you guys in the next video